Today in our 2018 Chevrolet Colorado, we're going to be installing the Backflip Fibermax hard tonneau cover, part number BAK126126. This hard tonneau cover is going to be a low profile tri-fold design with a nice black finish. This tonneau cover is custom fit for your Chevy Colorado and is an easy no drill installation. It has water resistant seals that run the perimeter of the cover as well as between the tri-folds. It has a gloss textured fiberglass top with an aluminum base and rails underneath for strong support that also provides UV protection for long lasting shine. It's aerodynamic to help cut down on wind noise and drag while driving and it'll also protect all of your cargo from moisture and the elements. It's an easy one person operation. Located on either side of the truck, there are pull straps underneath that release each flap. Each trifold has a cable that when pulled draws the release tabs inward. You can have partial access to your bed while keeping some of your cargo covered to protect it from sun damage or rain. Securing straps are included on the middle trifold. There's a storing buckle here for when you're not using the securing straps and also a buckle towards the cab which can be pulled tight to lock it into this partially open position. It'll also fold upright into the cab. There are soft rubber bumper pads to keep it from damaging your cab. With it in the upright position, you can drive down the road using the support rods tucked underneath. Simply unscrew the latching mechanism here, slide it up, lock it down over your rod and tighten it back down. Now you can drive down the road without having to worry about your tonneau cover bouncing around and giving you maximum access to the rear of your truck. The tonneau cover's rails sit mostly inside your truck bed, which gives you access to raised mounted rails and stake mounted accessories. And your tonneau cover rails are going to sit about two and a half inches inside your truck bed. The water resistant rubber seals not only route water off the top of the cover, it also runs down the rails and out the drain tubes outside of your truck bed. The tailgate can be opened while the cover is completely closed. But when you go to close your tailgate, it is recommended to lift this up, close your tailgate, and shut it down to ensure a proper seal. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. We're going to begin by installing a seal behind our cab here. Now if you have a drop-in bed liner, you do not need to install this seal. Since we don't have one, we're going to need to install it. You want to peel it back and run the strip along the inside edge. all the way across and when you reach the other end you'll need to trim it to fit. Here at the end you can use a razor knife or razor blade to trim it to fit. And this will allow a good seal at the top of our cover. And now we need to check our rails. So we'll begin by setting them in place putting the silver bracket towards the front facing in towards the bed. Once you get that in space, check to see that it sits flat. If it angles down like this, we'll need to put some spacing shims in. Refer to your instructions for the location of placing your shims. Your kit comes with many spacers and per our instructions, we'll be placing them above the caps here on the rails. Peel the paper off your spacer Go straight up from your cap and position it at the bottom of your rail. On our Colorado here, we're going to do this above each of the three caps. Now we'll get our rails clamped down. So go ahead and set your rail into place. Grab your first clamp. We're going to start by positioning it about six to nine inches from the front of the bed. Now take your clamp, go ahead and loosen it all the way up with the nut end facing towards the inside of the bed. Slide it up onto your bed rail. Make sure that the teeth line up with the groove and then start tightening it down. You want to make sure you're all the way up and you want to be pushing down on the rail as you tighten it. We'll use a 9 16 wrench to tighten it. Once 
Once it's snug, we'll move to the next clamp. We're going to position our second clamp towards the center of the bed rails. Again, make sure it's all the way up and aligned in the grooves. And start tightening it down. And once we're snug, we'll move on to our last clamp. We're going to position our last clamp about six to nine inches from the rear of the tailgate. And we'll repeat this same process on the other side. Now you're going to want to grab yourself an extra pair of hands to help lift your tonneau cover into place. You're going to want to put the smaller panel towards the cab and line it up with the seal that we put in place earlier. Next we're going to install our buckle clip. To do that, you'll take the nut spacers, slide them in the back side here. Place the buckle clip on top and just thread your screws into the spacers that we've inserted previously. And then tighten them down. It's recommended to do this by hand so you don't strip out your spacer nuts. And then we'll repeat this process on the other side. Next we'll be installing the bumper guards that go along the top of your folding panel here. This prevents it from making direct contact with your cab. And to do this, we're just gonna remove the plastic strip off the bottom of the adhesive. Place one at each end and one in the center. Next, we'll take our flat bolt and rubber washer Place it on there and slide it down through the tonneau cover and the silver bracket that's below it on the rail. And do this on both sides. Now we'll take our rubber washer, metal flat washer, and lock washer, place it under the bolt we just inserted on the bottom side, and we'll tighten down our star nut. Now you may need to reach around on the other side to press down on the bolt so you can get the nut started. Now go ahead and tighten that until it's a little snug. We're not gonna tighten it all the way down yet as we may need to make some adjustments and then do this on the other side. Now with our securing hardware loosely installed, we're gonna roll back our tonneau cover and make sure that it lines up properly. You'll see your release pin here we want to make sure that that's properly contacting the rail on both sides. And with everything lined up properly, we can go back and finish tightening our star nuts up. You want to tighten them down until your lock washers are completely flush and it's holding it secure. Make sure not to over tighten. And next we're going to need to install our drain tube. To do that we're going to need to route it outside the cab of the vehicle from our rail. So we'll use a screwdriver and we'll remove one of the covers so we can route the hose out. Just get behind the cover there and pry outward. Push the hose onto the rail and feed it outside the vehicle. And then repeat that on the other side. And that completes the installation of our Backflip FiberMax hard tonneau cover on our 2018 Chevrolet. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave a comment if you have any questions.